Sick edits, sick edits, sick edits, sick color grades. All right, what's up? Let's take a look at our DIT cart. We wanted to make a sick cart that we could just wheel out of the van and have everything ready to go for making sick edits or downloading data or doing color grading on the fly or for the client to take a look at you know, some selects or something, but we wanted it all in one compact package so there wasn't any setup time. So most of the time when we travel for shoots, you know, unfortunately we're in hotels or we're in the media center at a track or something like that, and it takes 35 minutes just to set up our rig, which is a laptop, uh, a RAID array, a couple card readers, and then finding power, of course, which is always a bear, and then internet. The card itself contains a DaVinci Resolve micro panel from Blackmagic Design, uh, a little data bin, so you can put all your be downloaded cards in one cart, in one drawer and then lock that drawer up and then that way you don't have to worry about anything getting uh, mixed up. Uh, and then you've got another small tiny drawer there for used media or whatever you want and then a larger drawer um, for whatever may fit in there. Right now in the drawer we also have the Digi Shade, which is actually a really nice shade made by Innovative. And I'm certainly not an Innovative fanboy, but it's all magnetic. Clips onto the back of your display and then you have a sunshade out in the field, which is super rad. You can make it out of cardboard if you wanted to, but then it wouldn't have magnets and it wouldn't be 100 bucks. And then we've also got a monitor mount. Uh, this is a 30 inch BenQ display and it's on a BOA arm, so we can move, pitch, roll. We can actually rotate as well if you want to. And then when it's in the van, we actually fold it flat and just set it face down on the cart so it doesn't get damaged. Down here, we have our Mounting tray for card readers. So we've got a red mini mag reader here. You put a SD card reader, whatever you want. And then we've got a little just on here today is just a dual SSD RAID array that's plugged into the laptop. If we had a really big job, we could put in a 2U SSD rack and run it to the laptop via 12G SAS like we do here in the office. And that would give us eight to 40 terabytes on the cart if we needed it. Most of the time, two to four terabytes on location is enough. And then at the very bottom, we actually have a uh, CyberPower 1U battery backup that'll power the entire cart for 15 to 20 minutes. So when Jeff pulls your cart power, or flips the breaker or something like that, and your copy's going on, it doesn't totally bone your uh, file copy. And you have uh, an audible alert, and then you can finish up what you're doing and shut it down, which is super rad. Since this is a one or a 19 inch server rack, essentially, it uh, can take any server standard sized items and that gives us a ton of options for building it out. We put handles on the side, we put latches on the back. These actually uh, interface with the retaining system on the van. And then we change the casters to big eight inch all-terrain casters with brakes on all four wheels. The one that came with it were little wobby tubey casters which are no good for anything. You're not gonna like be able to wheel it down the trail. So let me move my coffee over here and show you some more cool features. So if we quit Resolve, yeah, we don't have to save this project, and we shut our computer down. Right now I've got it plugged in just via USB, and it's on the DigiPlate, which is rad. But if we pull the DigiPlate off our post system, like that, it stays adhered to the DigiPlate itself. And then this whole system mounts in the cart, where we have a post mounted back here and you tighten that down, and now the cart contains the laptop in a secure mode, and it also has a little bit of shock absorption because it's mounted on some little rubber nubber guys, and so that will then go in the van. Uh, the, the main thing is that it actually has this post mount system on the side that we made. This is actually a 1.75 inch post, which is also compatible with the innovative post system, and can take all the innovative accessories, as well as any standard like cinema grip accessories. over here to the innovative cart, which I use when we're on shoots as my director cart, and then we can ride with the exact same accessories. Back to the DIT cart with it, and we'll show you how this thing mounts in the van. To the van. That post system, actually we have built a receiver that takes a 5 ace baby spud in the floor, that locks in, retains that there, and then you tighten the post. Now it's retained at one point, and then these latches on all four corners. One, 
on this side, and then one on that side. And now the cart is secured to the van uh, at four points, so it's pretty solid. You still got your monitor here, which can fold down flat. You can do your sick edits right here in the van, and if you need a chair, we've got the Swedish walk stool until we come up with a better solution. And then the cart is now powered off the van. We have a unseen outlet in the back. So you have to crawl under there and plug it in. And then when it's time for transport, this guy folds down like that. So it doesn't get smashed. The entire laptop system with everything with it can come over here as well. And then you have a secure place for a laptop in the van on the table. So you technically run two laptops, uh, no problem. So put the laptop back in its spot where it's secure. Tighten that guy down. And then you're ready to go.